Hey guys, welcome back to this house. Hey, um, just a little update of what we've done here uh, since we've been here for the last couple of weeks. Here's an updated video. Um, I'll show you what we've done. Uh, we've done quite a bit just in a couple of weeks. So uh, we repainted, tore down everything in the kitchen, raised the ceiling up, uh, tore all the carpet and flooring out here in the house, upstairs and downstairs. But we won't be going downstairs right now. Um, so here we go real quick. Here we are installing your backer board for the hardwood floor or the hard hard tile. <clears throat> uh, just got to finish up the rest of the boards here, putting all your million screws in the board every six inches on this hardy backer board. Um, got holes pre drug rough cut it in for the furnace we have to install, a uh, new furnace. We'll end up installing a new furnace. It's all electric heat and stuff, so we've repainted everything. All the light fixtures will be replaced and everything on here, uh, putting in new light fixtures. Uh, as you can see, um, quite the job on laying tile. But as you can see, that drop down ceiling's gone and it's not there no more. I kind of like whoever's idea it was to run electrical around a door like that. That's beautiful, I like that. Not really, but. They come over here, tie off over here to get power off of these plugs over here or getting power from somewhere over here. I'm pretty sure it's coming off of that wire there, jumps over to here. Then the wires routed up and around the door there, down the door. Comes over here, another electrical junction box, garbage, and they just put it into a junction box. Then it comes over here, ties into this plug, and this plug. Why didn't they just run the power from up above and drop it down? I have no idea, but, but anyways, yeah, got the carpets all out of here. I've uh, rough cut it for the furnace, and my cousins come in and do that. Um, that's all repainted. Let's go into the bathroom here. Got all the door trim off because we're putting in new door trim and stuff so it all matches. The other stuff is all this piece and that piece. So, so anyways, <clears throat> um, got that all done. We're tiling here. Uh, gonna end up putting a new vanity in and stuff. So all that work right there behind where the sink goes wasn't a big deal on making sure it's all prepped real good or whatnot because it's going to be covered up with the vanity and stuff. So here's our uh, view of what we got on the tile. We're doing that hardwood floor tile. Um, it's a little difficult because it is a lot of cuts and a little time consuming versus the other tile. But... <clears throat> All the carpet down in this room here. All it's been repainted. Uh, it still has kind of a little bit of a smoke smell or whatever the smell is. Some still has a little bit of urine, animal smell to it. But we're getting it down of here. And here's the other bedroom. Um, it's all repainted. This one will need to put a light in here. So we'll do that up above on it. Same with the living room. The light needs to be uh, installed up in the living room also. We'll put two lights up there. So, Alrighty, uh, that's it. What we've got here going on at the house. Oh yeah, where we had to raise that ceiling up, we had to take and uh, redo these lights right here. So we took and went up and recess them up inside so they're up inside and we don't have to worry about the wires because you did have a lot of wires running through here and stuff so that's all three tank and care of or any ran so all right thanks for watching please share and uh if you have any comments go ahead and leave them all right thank you bye